The Prince and the Pauper. Once upon a time, a son was born to a king and queen. Oh. He was called Edward, and everyone in the palace rejoiced and blessed the infant prince. That same day, another little boy was born to a very poor family. His name was Tom. His family was so poor that they rarely had enough money to buy food. Prince Edward always had plenty of food and beautiful clothing. The king doted on his only son and raised him in love and comfort. Tom grew up in poverty and hunger and had to beg strangers for a bite to eat. His father was cruel and mean. Get out, you little brat! And bring back some food or coins! Uh, no, I don't want to pretend to be a cripple anymore. <laughs> Insolent rascal! Don't you dare come home empty handed! I will not beg for money anymore! Tom left home and wandered the streets aimlessly until he found himself before a magnificent palace. Seeing Tom's bedraggled appearance, the guard tried to chase him away. How dare a filthy urchin like you wander near the king's palace? Uh, I, I was just passing by. Uh, I, I wasn't doing anything, I swear. Get away from here, or you'll be sorry. Hear me? Uh, why? Away with you, I said! <laughs> The prince was just returning to the palace from a stroll when he heard the guards' angry shouts. What is going on here? This dirty beggar has been lurking around the palace. So I told him to leave. Oh, my. Why, look at the poor thing. Uh, he looks like he hasn't eaten in days. Oh. Your Highness, he probably comes from the Popper's Corner on the other side of town. Uh, oh, do you think so? Oh. I feel sorry for him. Oh, I wish to invite him into the palace and give him some food. Open the gate! <laughs> uh, but, Your Highness, uh, the boy... Uh... I command you to open the gate! The guard had no choice but to obey. <laughs> you there. <laughs> Come with me. I am inviting you to the palace. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the prince gave Tom many good things to eat, and when he had eaten his fill, the prince took him to his own chambers. Tell me your name. I am Tom, your highness. Uh, Tom, I am Edward. Tell me about the outside world, Tom. Well, it is all right, I suppose. Only, I'm always hungry. Hungry? What is it like? I have an idea. Give me your clothes. My clothes? Why? Mm. I want to try on some comfortable clothes for once. But, oh, they're all filthy and ragged. Uh. <laughs> I don't mind. Here, you can wear mine. Uh? The two boys exchanged clothes and looked at themselves in a mirror side by side. <laughs> they were amazed to see how much alike they looked. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we look just like twins, don't you think? 
<laughs> we do, Your Highness. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can fool everyone else. Uh, uh, why don't you stay here and pretend to be Prince while I go out and see the world outside? But, uh, Your Highness... Tom was hesitant about the whole idea, but he didn't dare argue with the Prince. Dressed as a pauper, the prince walked out of the palace. The guard frowned at him angrily. So, you have come out at last. How dare you exploit Prince Edward's generosity! Get out and never return, you! Huh? Uh, guard, do you really believe I'm a pauper? It's me, the prince! Oh, uh, are you insane or simply a fool? Leave now, or suffer the consequences! Uh, 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 what? Uh, wait! It was just a joke! Uh, don't you recognize me? Uh, uh, <laughs> the guard threw the prince out of the castle. Meanwhile, Tom's father, who had been searching for him through the streets, saw the prince and rushed towards him. Oh, oh, there you are, you oh, worthless oh, rascal. Oh, Where have you been hiding? How dare you handle me in this manner? Oh, unhand me at once! I am the prince! Oh, I say, unhand me! I am the prince! Uh, what are you trying to taunt your father now? I'll teach you a lesson, young man! Meanwhile, in the palace, Tom was little better off. However, much he tried to tell everyone that he was not Prince Edward, no one would listen. Even the servants didn't believe him. Please, why won't you believe me? I am not Prince Edward. I'm just a pauper. Your Highness, please do not say such things. The king is gravely ill. This is no time for jokes. It's not a joke. The prince is out there somewhere, and we must find him. Your Highness, you know that boy you befriended earlier was only a pauper. Please, don't trouble yourself about him. Uh, uh... Tom had no choice but to continue his masquerade. The prince, meanwhile, was beaten by Tom's father every day. Will you learn your lesson? Go out and beg for money! You are my son, Tom, and don't you forget it! Now do as I say! The prince was afraid of him and no longer tried to argue. As he made his way through the village, the prince thought about the things he had experienced. I can't believe Tom's father treated him so cruelly. I will make sure he is punished, for sure. But no one at the palace would recognize Edward as the true prince. Uh, oh, how can I get back into the palace if no one recognizes me? Edward continued to go from door to door, but no one in the village wanted to give him any food. Hey, you! Get out of here! Oh, what a nasty, smelly boy! Go away! Go! Edward kept wandering the village, but he couldn't even manage to get one meal a day. Several days went by like this. One day, Edward came upon a knight from a neighboring country whom he had met before. Once they had participated in an archery competition together. Grabbing his chance, Edward reminded him of the details of their last meeting and tried to convince him of his true identity. Hmm. Oh. It must be true. You are indeed Prince Edward. I am. 
Can you help me return to the palace, please? Fear not, my prince. The knight seated the prince on his horse and they rode to the palace together. While all this was happening, the king had died, and everyone at the palace was focused on Tom's coronation. The king is dead. Long live the king. Blow those trumpets. <laughs> at that moment, Prince Edward burst into the throne room. Stop this at once! I am the true king! Ah. What? It's that papa again. Guards, seize him! Do it! Uh. Mm, don't touch him. He is the real prince and your new king. This is a conspiracy! That knight is plotting with the papa to steal the throne! Guards, arrest them! And throw them into the dungeons! Oh, let me go! I am your rightful king! Tom, tell them the truth! Tell them how we switch places! Tell them! Come on! Tell them that we switch places! Tom was confused. He knew what his duty was, but he was afraid to go back to his former life as a pauper. Finally, he made a decision and raised his voice above the din. He... he speaks the truth. I am not Prince Edward. He is... Tom had always been an honest and decent boy. <laughs> and so, Prince Edward was crowned king. He was deeply impressed with Tom's honesty and loyalty. He asked Tom to stay at court and made him a knight. Tom became King Edward's chief advisor and lived in the palace the rest of his life. The prince and the pauper became as close as real brothers and ruled the country together with honor and generosity, making sure that everyone was safe and content. <laughs>